Hi there, YouTube. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for my uh, terrible accent, but uh, I would like to show you uh, a couple of things um, about rearing the Death Head Hawk Moth. Well, uh, Latin name uh, Acarontia atropos. So, yes, these are the moths that are famous uh, from the movie Silence of the Lambs. And uh, as you can see, their larvae are quite impressive and large. I uh, reared them myself. I received them as eggs from uh, the internet. So, well, currently uh, most of them uh, appear to be uh, in a yellow form. They can have multiple colors, including yellow, green, and brown. And it appears I currently have one green larvae. It's this one, but I'm not sure if this color is permanent because, well, when they uh, shed their skin, they can uh, change color too. Well, um, the best uh, host plant for these is uh, privet, also known as ligustrum. And um, I rear them inside uh, plastic containers. Um, without a lot of ventilation, but I, I do like to keep uh, high temperatures and uh, a little bit of humidity for them. So uh, I'll be uh, showing you how to feed them. Well, um, as you can see here, here I have uh, the host plant and uh, it's ligustrum. And uh, I prefer to feed this uh, to the desert hawk moth, but uh, they accept a great variety of uh, plants. And, uh, well, they can, for example, uh, ash tree is also accepted and um, other kinds of nightshade, including uh, potato and uh, tomato plant, which is also in the nightshade family. So, yes, um, this is uh, their, their enclosure. As you can see, it's currently empty, but I'll be including fresh house plant now. So I'll place the privet in the box. Yes. And let's put them inside. So yes, I'm going to put them on top here. So they're probably going to start feeding right away. They're very hungry right now. Oh, this feels good. You know, they, f they feel a little bit like rubber, you know. It is quite a unique texture. It's... it's well, I'm going to take some of the last larvae here. Wow. They're not even fully grown, so uh, as you can see, uh, I'll, I'll show you a picture of a fully uh, grown larvae. Well, uh, as you can see here, I have uh, quite a fancy incubator. And um, I use this incubator to keep the larvae at uh, the right temperature. So um, I can pick exactly the temperature I want. So let's see, 35 is too hot. so. I still about 30, so as you can see it starts warming up right now. And I'm going to put the larvae inside. There we go. There we go. And um, this is probably enough food for a couple of hours. So, yeah, they're really feeding machines. So, let's put on the light. And there we go.